Hello, welcome back to these battle videos. Now this isn't um, actually a battle spot, this is the international challenge as you can see from the screen in front of you and looking at my opponent's team you can see why I decided to actually save this video. <laughs> he had a team full of poison types, uh, I think I think he had a muck as well, I can't remember what the other one was. But this was surprisingly difficult, I mean you, you think um I don't know, maybe I'm just terrible at this game, but if it, you, you, you kind of think when someone's got a monotype team, it's going to be far easier to take them down. But really, you know, I, you need someone that can super affect all of them. Um, so I, I actually fought a, a, a fire type team. I think this might be, might be coming up later on. Um, and that was difficult because I only had one thing with Earthquake, so I had to make sure I conserved that. So I'm just... Playing it as normal as possible here. Set up the tailwind is pretty standard. And yeah, so it's, it's a good first turn. I've got a burn in the tailwind. <clears throat> I'm assuming that it's a physical attacker, Drapion. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure at this point. And do the same to Muck as um, Muck. Weezing as well. Because why not? <laughs> Yeah, now I know it's a special attacker as well, so I can do that to um, to lower that stuff. In this case, you know, so on, on the team I was using here, I didn't have a psychic type, which is probably good because he had knock, had a dark type, and knock off. It's all about the will o' wisp this match, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I didn't have that. I didn't have a ground type. Not that ground would be much good against um, wheezing, of course, because it's got levitate, but it would help against everything else. So switch Arcanine out here. So who do I bring him? Kangaskhan. Yeah, just going for the damage now. Although there's a chance will he use Will O Wisp, perhaps? There you are. I'm not worried about the Drapion at this stage, so I'm just <clears throat> letting him get on with it. If he does do that. And that. Double targeting, I guess trying to take out that Arcanine. I'm poisoned, which is annoying, because <clears throat> I'm gonna be losing health, but at least my attack isn't halved. Every, every cloud. <laughs> so everyone's in, in, afflicted with a status condition at the moment. It's a, bit, it's a bit mental. But I mean, it's kind of what I expected fighting someone with a <laughs> all poison team. Poison, of course. I, I always say it's my favourite type, but I think it's it's probably a three-way tie between poison, steel, and psychic, if I'm honest. I was thinking about this the other day. <laughs> Take out. I'm sneezing. Guess I'm gonna target. Oh no! It's a bit odd, actually. I thought I probably should have scolded there onto the uh, onto the wheezing. Don't know why I didn't actually. I wasn't paying attention here. Maybe it's maybe I missed something, but or maybe I just wasn't paying attention at the time. <laughs> I did do really badly in the international challenge. I think I won two, lost two. I wasn't uh, in the right frame of mind. I was, you know, concentrating on other things that, you know, not giving it my full attention. So he's going to protect. Uh, I guess he can wait for a burn to tick down and then use pain spit next turn. So yeah, I, I've put this up. Then the the next this one and the next three they're not like the highest quality matches. This one. Uh, in fact, it's, it's just really not very good at all, but uh, <laughs> they're just kind of interesting. Um, uh, well, this one, it depends on the definition of interesting, I suppose. If you think stalling and statuses is interesting, then <laughs> boy, it's just the battle for you. <laughs> yeah, you see a lot of Kangas come with double edge these days, but mine, um, mine has returned simply because I... I I can't deal with the recoil damage, I don't want any. <laughs> so finally, finally I take something down of the other team. He brings in Arbok. I've never seen anyone use an Arbok for anything ever, competitive or none. <laughs> He's got Sucker Punch. See, I, didn't, I don't know what it has, but he survives! I can't believe that. That is, as they say, clutch.
And this Orobog, I swear, is so bulky. Look at it. And is, is it is that leftovers? Yeah. I guess it's like you wouldn't expect Arcanine to be bulky, would you? But it is if you EV it right, and Orobog must be in, in the same sort of thing. It's only got two weaknesses. It's less than Arcanine. And I finally succumbed to the state I. <clears throat> so I've got two left now. My opponent has two left. Out comes Arcanine again. And Scizor. Now Scizor is just one of my all-time favourites. It's got me out of so many bad spots. Just with that priority power is so good. Intimidate, of course, will help with... Um, what's it called? Arbok. Charboka. Mega Venusaur is really not what I want to see because it's only it's only weak to flying and psychic, and I don't have either of those types of moves on my team. <laughs> He's trying to hang around, recover some HP. But I think um, rather than trying to just take out this Venusaur with damage, I'm going to have to get the chip damage as well. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> RNG Jesus was not on my side of this match. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens when you're like a poison master. You can uh, you, you can get the poisons all the time. <laughs> He's a student of Koga, by which I mean the person, not the school of uh, of kung fu or whatever it is. Not kung fu, or the yeah, martial arts. Uh oh. Caesar should be alright to take that. Yeah, easy fan. My, my Caesar's actually been re EV'd since this battle. This was just um, max HP and max attack, whereas I I, I stole an, eight, an EV spread from... Um, see, that's annoying, because that lowers my attack. It's quite a clever move, that. I suppose you can use it on Kangas cans and things like that as well. And, you know, people would levitate. But anyway, yeah, um, so... I, I, someone... I've forgotten his name. I think it was Fatum. A uh, team report on Nugget Bridge, just to... Uh, <clears throat> This team, like he had a he had a Caesar and a Toga case. Pretty cool team, actually. Um, it was was it twenty something HP? Basically, it's EV, so his um his HP stat is one hundred and forty nine. Because the the life orb takes off a tenth of your HP, this means that you get fifteen uses out of it, rather than yeah. But with with the I completely lost my train of thought then because he forfeited and it put me off slightly. But yeah, if you think about it, 149, uh, the, the life orb takes out a tenth, so 149 divided by 10 is 14.9, but because it rounds down, that ends up as 14, which means you get more uses out of it but with the maximum amount of HP. Yes, <laughs> so you get 11 uses out of it. Rather than just 10, like if it was 150, you'd only, it would take off 15 each time, so you get 10 uses out of it. There you go. That's why people have random numbers as HP, uh, uh, HV, HP stats. But anyway, that's that's that. That was poorly commentated and poorly played, but I won. That's all that matters. But shout out to TYY TYY. Thank you, you. Thank you, you, for having such a cool team. Right. I'll see you next time. We're back back to battle spot next time. So I'll see you then. Bye.